Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So a few of you guys requested I do a supply haul, not a haul, but like a review or kind of just share what supplies I use for my K-pop binders. Um, more specifically, my little A5 or like mini binder, I should say. So I'm gonna go through and explain everything I use, plus what I use to pack my Macari orders. Um, so yeah, everything will be in the description and there will be timestamps below. So if you are interested in a certain item, definitely just take a peek at that. But yeah, without any further ado, let me set stuff aside and we'll look at my iPad together. <laughs> All right, so first things first are my sleeves. I do love, and I mean love, double sleeving all of my cards. So everything um, or every photo card I do store in my mini binder are surrounded by Dragon Shield clear standard or like classic size. Um, if y'all have never used a Dragon Shield, I really do recommend them. They're pretty durable, they're pretty thick. Um, if I did have to say one downside, is that your photo card will definitely move in this. So I would recommend to double sleeve it just to kind of keep it straight <laughs> at all times. If you're anything like me, I just love to have a straight photo card. Um, so I definitely recommend to double sleeve using these, but just about any kind of penny sleeve works inside of this. So that's a good plus. The next one I'm going to get into is my mini like baseball penny sleeve, I guess you can say. Um, this penny sleeve is very, very thin. Um, I would definitely recommend to double sleeve using this one on the inside just because it's so thin. It's not like that like sustainability support. It's more just of a coverage support. And I don't know, I like my sleeves to be all rounders. Um, however, this one does fit pretty snugly. It's clear on both sides and it's honestly a pretty soft material. The one I use in specific is this one here, um, so yeah, perfect fit sleeves. They really do the job for me. All right, and last but definitely not least are my Titan Shield sleeves. So I really do love using Titan Shield. Um, the ones I use in specific are the Japanese sized ones. On one side it is kind of like that fuzzy material and on the other side it is just the normal clear. Um, these are a little bit bigger than the last sleeves I showed you guys, um, so if you're okay with that, I definitely recommend them. They really do hold up their support as well. Not as thick as the Dragon Shield, but definitely not as thin as just a standard penny sleeve. So I would recommend these if you are kind of just looking to single sleeve something. Definitely Titan Shield is your way to go. So to move things over just a little bit, here is my binder section. Um, I do use a three ring mini binder. I absolutely love mini binders and I absolutely love the three ring aspect. I'm not big on the six ring. I did try it. It's just hard to kind of match the sizing. Um, so the three ring, it's kind of point blank. The ones I use in specific is this measurement right here. It's a little bit harder, I must admit, to find um binders this size so if you're looking to upgrade or get multiple of this binder more than likely you're just gonna have to buy the same binder so if you're looking for diversity or different cover patterns it's not as easy as it would be to get like an a6 or something like that nature sorry i need to put these back <laughs> I will say I absolutely love like the hard cover. It's not one of those flimsy ones. So if you're anything like me and you want that support, you want that extra cushion, definitely this is the way to go. If you guys can find like any other listings for these binders, please let me know. This one is a two inch. The other one I'm going to show you guys next is a one or a one and a half inch. Um, but other than that, I can really only find them in groups or in sets, not really as single sales. Um, so maybe I can host like a group order or something and we can all collectively buy into it. Um, so yeah, that is it for this binder. Let me go ahead and pull out my next binder. Alrighty, and this is the next hardcover once more. I'm a big hardcover girl. <laughs> Three ring binder. So same thing, very durable, very hard to find. However, it is the same measurement, so I am able to use my same three ring four pocket for all of these universally. I absolutely love that. 
And yeah, once more, these just fit in perfectly. The Dragon Shield is just amazing um, for these types. And I'll get into the pockets right now. Um, but yeah, just to kind of give y'all an overview, this is the one I have in specific. I don't know if they have other colors from this company, but I would definitely recommend this binder. It was a very comfortable binder to start or like ease into my collection. Um, and now it's for sure just going to be like overflowing. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for this. And let me next talk about my actual pockets or sleeves. Um, these are my four pocket sleeves. I absolutely love, love, love these sleeves so much. These are the ones I use. The one that I got, I believe came in like a 120 or an 80 pack. I can't remember, but these fit my binder perfectly. They are a three ring um, sleeve and they are double sided. So I don't know if you guys saw, but this over here is on its own. Like I can put this in or out of either side. It really doesn't matter. So you're not really going to have to worry. Hey, I want to put this one here. Oh, I have to go around the back and place it. No, you can just straight up place it wherever you want. I love that about these. I see a lot of like collectors where they have to kind of reach behind or in my case, whenever I would store my nine pockets, I would have to reach behind if I did a double spread. With these, it makes double spreading super, super easy and I honestly can't get enough of them. If you guys buy all of them, I will cry. So please don't. <laughs> but definitely just utilize what I'm giving y'all. Yet again, everything will be in the description. Please check it out. Um, I love, love, love all of these like items I use. That's why I use them so much. And that's why I'm very comfortably telling you guys about them. Um, I haven't had any issues at all with the pages ripping, with my photo cards getting discolored because of like PVC or something like that. Is it PVC or is it PVP? I can't remember. <laughs> but I honestly love, love, love this collection. And I guess like the materials just like help me amp that love. Um, so yeah, I'd for sure recommend you guys checking all of these out. All of them will be in the description, like I said. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and jump into the next part of this video, which is going to be my packing materials. I guess to just start it off, I do normally use a plastic top loader. You can buy these literally from anywhere, from anything. You can probably just Google top loader or plastic top loader. Something will pop up that's correct. I'm just going to link something random. I don't use any brand in specific. They're all just about the same. So recommend using a top loader. Super secure. Next thing I use is cardboard. So the normal standard cardboard is this size that I get. Um, I do get to kind of fold it in half. It's very easy to fold in half. And from here, this is perfect photo card size. A top loader can perfectly fit in here just with some tape. You close it up, there you go. You have double support. It also works if you have a bigger inclusion and you need to put something down, like maybe your double packing in envelope. Um, you're able to kind of just match it up, line it up. It's a perfect size and honestly I have no complaints for this. Um, so definitely recommend to kind of just buy some type of top loader or cardboard or both <laughs> if you are sending out anything like that. Next thing I want to talk about is my packing tape or not tape but my packing paper. Um, with this, it does come fully lined up. All you have to do is cut what you need and stretch it out. It's a little bit to actually pull out, so I don't think I will. I do recommend to kind of do a few layers of this. It is pretty thin than what I was expecting personally. So if you're doing, let's say, an album, I'd recommend to kind of wrap it around maybe three times and then cut it. It's a lot of material since you do stretch it out for the most part, so you don't really have to recommend like worry about hey I need to get a butt ton it's probably gonna last you a while next thing up is my little freebies bag I absolutely love these little holographics they're able to fit a top loader as well so if you're kind of looking for an all-in-one packing you can fit some freebies and a top loader in here fits a-okay perfectly 
Um, I got this in a hundred piece. I believe you can also get them in less, but it's just a standard four, four by six standard pouch. Um, the only thing I would have to say is sometimes they do rip whenever you try to open it. It's not an easy open. And I don't know if I'm just like the Hulk or something because I break these bitches a lot. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend to use your full like fledged strength on them, but they definitely are pretty cute and they do hold like a lot of stuff. So yeah, definitely would recommend these for sure. Alrighty, so next are my pink bubble mailers. These hold a top holder, top holder? top loader um perfectly just about nothing more unfortunately i'd recommend to use these if you're going to put a top loader inside and then maybe put that inside something i wouldn't recommend to send these via mail with only these um it's just a really small package can easily be lost so yeah definitely recommend these they do support the only thing is, hey, you might need to put this in an envelope or you might need to put this in a box, something else. Don't just send only a top loader in this small little package. It doesn't work. Um, so yeah, there you go. And next up, last but finally not least are actually my Titan Shield, I guess you can say sleeves or soft sleeves is what it says. I've bought this package, which is for a thousand sleeves, and I'm still not out of them. And I pack a lot of orders. I use the sleeves for freebies. Um, I give them out as freebies as well. I really do love these sleeves. They are pretty soft and I haven't seen any um, type of like discoloration or anything like that. These are pretty big, so I wouldn't recommend it for like a personal storing type thing. That's why it wasn't in the previous clips um but for sure maybe for like commercial or just like using it to pack up stuff for sure would recommend these they come in a lot of, like a large quality quantity for a small amount of money um so yeah definitely recommend that and yeah all right well i did very much speed through this video but it was a pretty cut and dry simple video and i did just want to throw this out for you guys to reference um, like I mentioned just a little bit, every single thing I use will be linked in my bio. Everything I get <laughs> is from Amazon, if y'all couldn't tell from these snapshots. And if y'all have any questions at all, if it's about, hey, how does that look? How does it do long term? Stuff like that. Definitely just ask me in the comments. Um, for the most part, everything I use, I'm comfortable with using. So that's why I use it. So yeah, if you guys have any recommendations for me, definitely let me know. If y'all have a link y'all want to share, drop it down below. We're all here to help each other, y'all. Let's do it. Um, so yeah, next video I think I'm going to be posting is rather an NCT dream haul for Jeno and Jisung or a storing photo card haul or a Bai haul. It's not a storing photo card haul. It's just like storing photo cards. I don't know which one's coming out first. But yeah, be prepared. I got a lineup. Happy holidays, guys. This is way after holidays and way before Christmas. But nevertheless, happy holidays. Happy late, happy early holiday. I don't know what you want to say. Um, but yeah, adios. See you guys in the next clip or next video, I should say. Um, and yeah.